three months after Nikolai released the pent-up malice of a pointed tower. The war's brutality escalated quickly with the use of chemical weapons. But the battlefield changed little, with both sides becoming more and more entrenched. Meanwhile, Yuri and his friends followed Special Agent Kato back to Japan to stop Nikolai, now possessed by Astaroth. And so, the stage shifts to the east. How is he? He's sleeping, but I don't think he's getting any better. We've come all the way to Japan, and yet there's nothing we can do. What if... what if he dies on us? Mm. Why do you always have to say things like that? Oh, come on. Show me somebody that's in danger of dying from seasickness. He was fine in the airship. He's an odd one, all right. That stupid airship didn't have any oomph anyway. It wasn't my fault. But you were the one that crash-landed the ship. It's called an emergency landing. Anyway, there was a cute little mother and baby bear. I wanted to see them. <laughs> well, Roger is probably yeah. still fixing it, surrounded by those bears. Deep in the woods of Hokkaido. Yeah, he may already be dead. We seem to have all gotten kind of down. You're right. Anyway, we don't have any reason to think that he's dead. Besides, there's nothing we can do. Let's just take it easy until Yuri is back on his feet. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.
My sword arts are unbeatable. Rondo has removed the threat of the bandits. Uh-huh. Are you hurt? I'm fine, Princess. Karando, who is this? I don't know. He just appeared out of nowhere to help me out. An unusual benefactor, I'd say. He certainly does look like a smart one. Yes. Thank you. What's your name, boy? Okay. You're white. So I'll call you Snowball. I think he likes it. Yeah. My enemies must be very impatient to send their assassins here. Don't you think so? You should be careful. Our enemies will try to strike at you. While you're away from the capital, you'll be vulnerable. I think we're safe enough. After all, we've got you, isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> Still, how very rude of them, don't you think? They could at least let a man visit a graveyard in peace. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we go? The inn is just over there. Yes. You have my gratitude for saving us. So long, Snowball! Princess! 
Go to the hospital? He's fine. He may be thin. But don't worry, he's extremely tough. Was that your daughter that was kidnapped? Yes. We've got to go save her! I want nothing more than for her to return. But she is an important hostage, so I'm sure they will do nothing to harm her. Don't you think he seems kind of calm, considering what happened? Shh. He'll hear us. Don't worry. He's probably hard of hearing anyway. I'm old, but I am not deaf, little lady. Not yet. Mm. Uh, I am, uh, uh, uh... Oh. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Please don't be concerned about me. Master, these people... These are the ones that brought you here when you were hurt. Oh, I see. Thank you. I owe you all my life. Oh, really? It was nothing. It was our pleasure. Uh... Oh. You... Ow! Ow! Anyway, we thought you died back there. Yeah. Hmm. There is dangerous work ahead. You've already done much to help. You needn't get further involved. Well, maybe not. But I think you know the people who took your daughter, don't you? <laughs> That's true, but it would be wiser for you all to keep away from this. It's not your concern. I'm afraid we can't do that. Hmm. And why is that? My partner. I mean my pet wolf. The one that chased after the car. You mean Snowball? Snowball? Yeah! That's him. You mean Blanca, don't you? Oh. That wolf. He saved us last night, too. You see? We can't just forget about him. Hmm. Huh? Uh, oh! Snowball! Blanca! It's the princesses. You found their secret hideout, boy? I guess it's decided then. Hmm. Shall we accept their assistance? Yes. Captain! Is the ship ready to leave yet? In a short while. We are still making preparations. We've already waited three hours! Lieutenant Colonel Tarada, you cannot simply bring armed weapons onto a high-speed ship. And then expect to disembark immediately, now can you, sir? I'm operating under direct orders from Minister Ishimura. During wartime, my orders take precedence over anything. You must know that! Don't get so excited. I told you all will be ready soon. 
But I hope, for your sake, that you do not find yourself in trouble for using the Empire's most advanced destroyer as a mere taxi cab. You needn't worry. I've been informed that you brought a girl as a captive. Is this true? Yes, and it's none of your affair. Fine. I didn't get this far in my career by sticking my nose where it does not belong. Excuse me, Captain? Yes? What is it? I see. As you were, sailor. Carry on. It seems intruders have boarded the ship, Lieutenant Colonel. I'll leave the matter to you. Good! This is what I was hoping for.
Princess! Are you okay, Princess? I'm okay. You're a lucky little girl. Who are you? Call me Yuri. And this guy's name isn't Snowball. It's Blanca. Blanca? Yeah. So, it's Blanca, is it? Thanks, Blanca. I'm Yoshiko. Yoshiko Kawashima. Yoshiko... Kawashima? Yes? This is Yoshiko. She is the daughter of my master, Naniwa Kawashima. So, you mean the old man is... Yes. Hmm. Is that right? Yuri! Huh. I am Kaneda, captain of the Mikasa. Don't make any sudden moves. No one needs to get hurt. You called me, Minister. Terada has failed. Yes? Kawashima's murder. The kidnapping. 
All have failed. It's all because of that young bodyguard of his. I've heard the rumors, but I never imagined it was so bad. It's time to go to Plan B. Special Agent Kato, are your apes ready? The final one, Oka, is nearly completed. The third one required quite a bit of time and money, did it not? I'm sorry, Minister. Very well. I must speak with Garan now. You may leave. Special Agent Kato. Yes, sir. Don't get too involved in your work. They may appear human, but in the end, an ape is just an ape. Yes, sir. I understand very well. Minister, you must be careful with him now. Since his return from Russia, he's been shut up in the laboratory, practicing suspicious magic. He came back from Europe with a great present for me. Let him play with his little toys. Minister, you are far too easy on him. He was nearly court-martialed after coming back from Europe. You shouldn't give him such an important position. Special Agent Kato has traveled in Asia and Europe and seen much of the world. On the other hand, you have never left Japan, and I'm not surprised you see things differently. It's really quite interesting. I cannot understand you. <laughs> Prepare for our attack on Kawashima. He has adopted a daughter of the Qing Dynasty in order to gain a foothold in Asia. He plans to resist Yuan Shigai and even support the Guerrilla War. I'm afraid if those events should occur, we'll lose our advantage. Ah, uh, yes. We cannot ever permit that. We cannot allow Kawashima the power to create a country in Asia. We must eliminate him while he's still in Yokohama. I understand you. With my magic, I will send his soul spiraling into hell. <laughs> I'm counting on it. Yes, Master.
The enemy has been wiped out. This sure is one ugly place. I wouldn't want my tomb to be in a place like this. Hey, look! I can fuse too?
Where's my apology? Karando, wake up! Oh, Lady Anastasia. You okay? What happened anyway? Well, you see, I came to the graveyard, then suddenly I felt dizzy and everything went black. <gasps> Master! Princess, where are they? Get a hold of yourself. We're inside some kind of boundary. One false move could get us killed. A boundary? That's right. We've all been sealed inside this strange other world. Corando, they used you as bait to finish us off. How do we get out of here? I say we find the one who sent us here, and do a little friendly persuading.
He was pretty tough. Old baby head. You shouldn't underestimate him. The other world. It's disappearing. Master! Princess! Huh? something to thank you. You've saved me twice now. Forgive me. It was my carelessness. Nobody got hurt, so it's fine. That's true. Hmm. What is it? So this is the grave, huh? Shanghai one year ago. Yoshiko Kawashima? Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima? You knew her? I... I... It seems that you and I are truly bound together. some ridiculous power struggle. It's my fault I didn't protect her. Thank you for coming today. I am sure my daughter would be glad too. What kind of person was she? Did you know her very well? Yeah, I knew her. She was very smart. And she was very brave. I think that sometimes... She might have pushed herself a little too hard. But she was a good person. Thank you. Dr. Hojo, how goes the experiment? Ah, oh, Lieutenant Colonel Kato. Minister Ishimura says that you plan to extract a monster from his soul force. Yes. Much has happened in this last month. The monster within him has been deeply submerged and has become quite weakened. We must act now before his health returns and he regains control over it. Hmm. So that's it, huh? The new vessel. Will it be able to contain the power? I cannot be certain. It will surely be powerful, yes. 
But I don't believe it will be able to destroy the world as you think. It's a fact. If it heals and its power is released, it could easily destroy this city. <laughs> I don't believe that. Once Nikolai's powers are removed, he'll be useful in our negotiations with Russia. Hmm, I suppose so. I don't know much about politics. I'm just happy to be able to carry on such fascinating research. A pity. Take care, he doesn't die, but this time, raise it to the maximum! More power! Even more! Ah, good! It's working! It was more than the animal could handle. His power is still flowing. Hmm. He is a difficult subject. We'll need to prepare some sort of special vessel. Absolutely not! Get out of there! Yes, sir! But why? Now would be an excellent chance to test their powers! Let them fight! Teleport. Huh? We've got to get it back. Master. <laughs> Master? No matter what the reason. Never disobey my orders. I, I, forgive me, Master, but I... Ignore an order from me once more, and you'll die an early death. Yes, sir. All of you, 
Go after the monster. But if you find it, it's not to be hurt. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir! sir. Good to see you again, Sensei. Uh, so, when did you get back? Yesterday. I wanted to come back earlier, but it was difficult to find the time. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I must say it's much hotter here in the capital than it is in Nara, don't you think? Yes. Forgive me. There's no one here right now. Some tea? Oh. Don't concern yourself. I have to be going soon anyway. Have you decided yet about the matter we discussed? We're going to be leaving Japan next week. Oh, really? That seems very sudden. What about Anne? And your child? You're going to be gone for a long time. I'm planning on taking them with me. Oh, is that right? Uh, but what about the child? What was his name again? Yuri. Oh, yes. Yuri. He must be about three now. Yes. I'm going to be raising him in mainland China. Oh? That will be good. Unlike Japan, he'll be able to meet people from different countries there. He'll grow up to be a good man. Sensei. Mm hmm? It will be a few years. No, perhaps never. I may never be able to come back to Japan. What did you say? Don't say that. Our greatest enemy, Dehuai, has his base in Shanghai. We've got to move against him carefully. I'm counting on you, if I fail. Yuga. I've got to be going now. I see. I'll be praying for your safety. When you return here, we'll have a drink. Take good care of yourself. Yes, sir. Are you thinking about your father? Yeah. I can hardly remember anything from when I was a boy. The funny thing is, I can still hear the sound of that old ship. The one that took the three of us to China. Your father died while fighting this wizard who was planning to destroy all of Japan, is that right? Yeah. I was ten years old. And your mother? After my father was killed, monsters attacked us at our house. They were sent by Dehuai. That wizard. They killed my mother.
Fate's a strange thing. My father gave his whole life to save Japan. And I'm doing everything I can to try to stop it. I think... I understand him. Huh? It wasn't for Japan. Your father was actually fighting... for you. And he was fighting for your mother as well. For me and my mother? I told you my family was poor, but that we were once nobility in Munich, right? Growing up, I worked harder than anybody else to keep the honor of our family name. If I succeeded in the army, I thought that it would reflect well on my family. I didn't do it for my country. I did it for my sick, bedridden grandmother that I left at home. But you see, I don't have a home anymore. It's been destroyed by those Sapientes Gladio bastards. That's why I really think that your father did what he did for the wife and the son that he loved. I'm sorry. No, I don't want that. I'm fine. It doesn't help to blame fate. It just makes you sad and bitter. Live every moment to the fullest and the future starts to look brighter. You're a strong woman, Karen. <sighs> That's right. You better remember that. <laughs> 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 She met my father when she was in Japan. And it was love at first sight for her. Was she pretty? I can't remember her face that clearly. What was she like? Why all these questions? Come on, I just want to know. We moved around a lot after we got to China. Finally, we settled in Mulan. But because my father was away, so much, my mother and I got to spend a lot of time together. She was a strong woman, but she was lonely too. Is that enough? This is embarrassing. No way. You're not stopping right now. Please, come on. <laughs> she had a hard time growing up. But she was happy in Japan with my dad. Of course, after we moved to China, she would sometimes complain about how her life went. Hmm. Then she'd always say she'd be happy. No matter where she was, as long as she had me. Oh. But whenever I heard that, I became furious at my father for having left us. Naturally. It was my mother who named me Yuri. How did she pick that name? I guess that was the name of her first lover. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't hear what they're saying. He just said that he loved her. He really said that? Quiet. You're too loud. Oh, sorry. Uh. 
Yuri, may I ask you just one more thing? Yeah, I guess so. You might as well. Were you in love with Alice? My stomach, my stomach's killing me. Uh, uh, I can't go to the bathroom. Hey, come on, I'm serious, you uh, know. Uh, 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 Yuri, wait! Uh, cut it out, I swear, I gotta go. Uh. Uh.
was a pretty good warm-up. Soldiers are being wiped out. What is your wish? If this continues, many will die. Master, I believe the three of us together could stop it. Hmm. Huh. Master! Over there! Uh. These are the Yokohama soldiers. Yuri! Figure out something. I can feel Nikolai's spirit in it. I'm Oka, of the Mutant Apes. She see no evil. I'm here. Speak no evil. I'm right. Hear no evil. <laughs> that monster! Are you responsible for it? No. Oh, huh? Kato. Stop. I have no desire to fight you now. You mean to say, first, we stop the monster, huh? Yes. We'll take care of the weaker enemies. You handle the Shoki. You mean we fight together? Yes. Fine with me. After that, you start talking. Very well. Mutant Apes, get us an opening. Yes, yes Master.
Now you see my power? Watch their battle very closely. They are our ultimate opponents. Yes, Master.
Where's my apology? Impressive, as expected. Now you're going to tell me where Nikolai is. Hmm. I sensed Nikolai in that monster. First, you take the emigre manuscript. Then, you take Nikolai. I'm here to put an end to this. It has nothing to do with you. Not good enough. Get any deeper into this and your very soul is in danger. Leave Japan at once. No way. Someone in this capital is pulling the strings, and I plan to find out who. No matter what? That lousy coward. He's hidden away while millions of lives are ruined. I won't let him get away with that. The Army's Hojo Research Facility. That's where you'll find Nikolai. He's still alive? Of course. But the minute you step foot in there, they'll use all their power to stop you. Sounds good. Very well. I'll be waiting. Hmm, is that right? So you came all this way to find this man you call Nikolai. Yes. A leading member of a secret society. And heir to the Imperial Throne of Russia. And now Ishimura has him. Ishimura? Foreign Minister Kantaro Ishimura. The one who truly controls the cabinet. So that's Kato's boss? Correct. He wields tremendous influence here. Recently, he's even formed his own army called the Iron Soldiers to consolidate his power. He also controls the Hojo Research Lab. That monster... and the mutant apes too? That monster was probably an experiment that somehow managed to escape. That laboratory has been conducting suspicious experiments for years, always involving new weapons research. It looks like Ishimura somehow plans to use Nikolai against Russia. Against, against Russia? Russia? That is correct. He may even open up a new front in the war. He's that crazy? He may be a bastard son, but there is no doubt that he is the prince. If we are not careful, Ishimura could use him as his pawn to seize power in Russia. No way! Do you think he can really do it? It's been done successfully many, many times in the past. If this war gets any bigger, a lot more people are going to die. What's truly scary is that he is willing to unleash his monsters on the world. Uh, but then... Hmm? I just don't believe Kato's capable of it. He wouldn't just blindly follow orders from someone like Ishimura. I'm sure he's planning something else. Why do you think so? He's got a good heart. In Shanghai, he protected your daughter all the way until the end. But even so, 
I can't see why he'd come all the way to Europe to help Sapientes Gladio get the Emigre manuscript. Huh? Emigre what? The Emigre manuscript, a magic book that brings back the dead. So far, everyone that's been after it has been trying to use it for evil purposes. Last time it caused a hell of a mess. I don't believe it. I owe that man a great deal for bringing back Yoshiko's body all the way from Shanghai. I can't really believe that Kato would use that book to pursue evil ends. Hmm. What is it? Did you just remember something? That woman named Oka. From the mutant apes? What about her? When I heard her voice, I thought it sounded kind of familiar. Yuri, have you ever met her before? No, that was the first time. Well, so what? She sounded like... Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. What? My... Yoshiko? Yes. He's resting at the moment. It scared me when he fainted like that. You'd faint too if you heard that your dead daughter was still alive. But... do you really think that Oka person is Lady Yoshiko? I didn't see her die with my own eyes. So I'm really not sure. find out by paying a visit to the laboratory? What? <sighs> yeah. There's an idea. We'll just go right out and ask her, are you Yoshiko Kawashima? It's easy. Why didn't I just think of that? Are you sure? Of course. The Astaroth separation experiment is about to begin. Very well. What is it, Master? Are you not feeling well? No. I'm fine. I was just thinking about the past. About the past? Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima, killed in Shanghai. I realized my life was changed the moment I met her. I was sent over to China as a simple geologic analyst. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that my life would take the path it has. Do you have regrets? <laughs> No. Master. She yearned to live in the same manner that Yuri does. To live life freely, no matter what the cost. To hold fiercely onto your own beliefs. She said that anyone could do it if they tried. Now I realize it's much, much more difficult than I thought. But Master, you have strong beliefs. For example... The path I walk. There are some times I truly fear it. But why? I've been working for Minister Ishimura. Helping him reach his goals. But all along I've had my own goals in mind. I've just been using him. And during that time, I've learned to lie and cheat. And kill. But the one thing I haven't learned is how to forget my pain. My sadness. 
The Yoshiko Kawashima that died in Shanghai was the Master's true love. I am... being too emotional. <laughs> My Master feels pain because of all his memories. I... I feel jealous of her. My face, my voice, everything. I'm just a poor copy of her. Don't say that. You are my creation. Pure, untainted. You are no mere copy. It's fine. I don't mind being a substitute for her. Oka. My only wish is to be of use to my master. To be near my master. To spend time with my master. <laughs> that is all I wish for. All that I want. <gasps> what are they trying to do to Nikolai? Starting. <laughs> this time we'll achieve separation. Begin. Beginning after all separation. Round two. Oh. Subject pulse blood pressure within acceptable parameters. <laughs> Subject is unconscious. Brain waves have entered delta stage. Blood pressure going down. Buy a separation beam now! Starting separation beam. Seventy percent until ego degeneration. Search time remaining, two minutes. That should be plenty. Astaroth spirit confirmed in subcortical matrix. Start tracking. We must grab it before it goes subconscious. Generate subcortex D2. Very accurate. So, monster, you've become quite comfortable in this soul, eh? Entering subcortex B3. 45% until ego degeneration. What are they doing with that? What are they saying, anyway? I don't know. I hear them talking, but I don't understand a word of it. Uh. Huh. 30% until ego degeneration. Are you still unable to remove it? Matrix too diffuse, can't find nucleus! Damn it! 20% Doctor, that's enough. We're going to lose him. Uh, if we fail now, it will be six months before we get another chance at this. You're going to kill again if you don't stop. Shut up, you ignorant buffoon! 10% until ego degeneration. Target has penetrated subconscious. Now that's fine. I'll have my monster. Screw it, Doctor. damn ego! Get back! Don't you know, Doctor? His ego was the only thing containing the monster. Now it's been released. What did you say? <laughs> oh, look. 
Its face has changed. Nikolai. Nikolai's ego. It's been swallowed up. You foolish, pathetic mortals. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for finally ridding me of that annoying thing. He was so intense before. It can't be. He's been taken over by Astaroth. Open fire! Solely to lead it into the fiery gates of hell. Mutant apes! Yes, Master! You can come out now. Huh? How you doing, Bright Eyes? You are a stubborn fool. It sounds like someone here woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yuri. Okay, who's first? Who wants to dance? Sadly, I have other business to attend to. Come on, don't be like that. I came to see you. <sighs> you bastard. After him! Yes, Master! Huh? Hey! Hey! Is everybody leaving? Doctor, we're going after Astaroth. Deal with things here as you wish. W wait a minute! We should leave too. He's right. We've got to go after Nikolai. Huh. This is not looking good. I won't let you get away with ruining my experiment! Ugh! Oh, what a waste of time. Just a little further.
Pirates are afraid of me! So the lab has been destroyed. Hojo has been killed. And Kato has gone missing, chasing after a monster. Yes. Oh, Joe, that miserable failure. Yes, Master. Fools! All of them! <coughs> Minister, are you all right? Yes. Please, you must relax. Think of your health. Quiet. This is nothing. Please, Minister, you must relax. Garan. Yes? <laughs> this young thug, Yuri, who is he anyway? I believe he's the man who stopped Rasputin's plan to conquer Russia. After that, he came to Japan, chasing after Nikolai. Special Agent Kato tells me he is the son of Huger from the Secret Service. Yes. This man is the son of a patriot, so why? I do not understand why does he insist on causing me pain like this. <gasps> Even though I only have a short time left in this body of mine. Minister, you mustn't say such things. Garan, destroy this Yuri. I cannot allow anyone to stand in the way of my plans for a new empire. Trust me, my lord. I, Garan, shall put forth my best effort. Just go. Yuga, don't be angry with me. But I will not show mercy to an enemy. <laughs> Even if he is the son of a cherished friend. understand the situation. I want you to work with Yuri and his companions. Help them any way you can. But don't you worry about Yoshiko and me. Ishimura can't touch us as long as we're in the capital. Actually, from what I hear, he has his hands full with his own problems. Yes, sir. I'll go with the others, then. Good. Mm -hmm. Where could he have gone, that bastard? You've got to take it easy. Worrying won't help us find Nikolai. You think I don't know that? Don't talk to me like my mother. <sighs> the thing is, this isn't the Nikolai we fought in a pointed tower. He's a million times more dangerous. Is it because he's been taken over by Astaroth? He tried to control the soul of a demon and claim its power for his own. But the demon was stronger, so he's the one who wound up being controlled. So Nikolai and Astaroth are sharing the same body? Yeah. I think Nikolai's in there somewhere, but it's Astaroth that has the power. Now the demon is free. I'm afraid to think of what it might do. <sighs> Ooh. 
What's wrong, young Yuri? Sensei. You seem depressed. So, there's no hope, eh? Yuri. What happens when you find the monster? I'll waste it. You think you can win? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Then go to Katsuragi. Katsuragi? Yes, the forest of the wind. There's someone waiting to meet you. To meet me? Who is it? You'll know when you get there. But believe me, that person will be able to help you on your search. <laughs>